Hello, in this session we will talk about screen areas of SAP HANA Studio. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. We will talk about following screen areas, main menu and main toolbar, editor area, navigator view and other views. SAP HANA Studio session is running on my desktop and you can see I am in administration console perspective. This top section here is called the main menu. In administration console perspective, I see five options in the main menu. Now, since this uh, software is based on Eclipse tool, so you see standard Eclipse options here, and they are sensitive to the perspective. So when you change the perspective, these options might change. So control F8, let me go to development perspective, and now you see more options in the main menu. Below the main menu you have main toolbar and again main toolbar is sensitive to the perspective as well. Just like the main menu, the main toolbar options will change based on the perspective. Items in the main toolbar are context sensitive. They are grayed out because right now there is no context for them to be enabled. As you will see later when we start using the editor the icons on the main toolbar will become enabled. So we are studying the screen areas with respect to the perspective administration console. So let me go back to that perspective, control F8. On the right side of the main toolbar, you see perspective switcher area. So this is perspective switcher. I have only two perspectives active right now. So I can switch between perspective using control F8 as we learned in the previous session or I can use the perspective switcher. Currently I'm in SAP HANA development perspective. Let me go back to the administration console perspective by clicking on this administration console icon in the perspective switcher. Each perspective gives you an editor for browsing and editing resources. Editors are opened up in the editor area. So this section here is an editor area, this big white area, and multiple editors could be opened up in this area and they will be displayed as tabs. Examples of editors available under administration console are administration editor and SQL console editor. We will look into those in coming sessions. On the left hand side you see navigator view. This gives you the list of all the SAP HANA systems that you have registered with SAP HANA Studio client software. Not only that, you can drill down into the systems into the detailed level components. You're seeing here one system because this is what we registered in our other videos. There is another toolbar within the navigator view and this is called navigator toolbar. The Navigator toolbar gives you access to multiple editors and functions like System Monitor, SQL Console Editor, Administration Editor, Find System Search Function, Find Table Search Function, etc. We are talking solely with perspective of Administration Console. If we go into other consoles like I just did Control F8 in SAP HANA Development, you might see other views in this uh, section here we, where we were talking about navigator view. So here we have more views besides the navigator but in administration console we only have navigator on this left section. Now let's talk about this bottom section here. In this bottom section you see two windows properties and error log. So this section usually called other view section here other views like properties and error log would appear. In administration console we have these two views. If you go to other console, for example development, you'll see more views. We have here history, we have problems which is not related as such to the administration work. So let me go back to administration console. Okay, so properties view will display data as you click on the items and the properties will appear for those items. For example, here I just clicked on the system and properties for the system is appearing. Now error log will display the errors. You can always go to window and show view and from here you can control what views you want to see. You can even click on other and here you have a big list. So I'm going to right click on this system node under navigator view and let's click on SQL editor. Although the system is not running right now but I can still open up the SQL editor without the system being running. So let me cancel this 
attempt for SAP HANA Studio to connect to the system so I'm getting this connection error that's fine click OK and this SQL editor has opened up so here I can write my SQL commands select all from this and that table so this is an example of an editor I can open up another editor by right clicking on the same system node and let me select another SQL editor so this will open up another SQL editor let me cancel the attempt to connect to the system since it's not up and running so we have a connection error but that's okay I just wanted to show you how multiple editors could be opened in different tabs when I'm done with a particular editor I can close it and let me close both the editors I do not want to save changes no